Hello everybody. So you've decided now that you want to buy a Dolphy Dream, right? So the next question is, how do you buy Dolphy Dreams? Well, in this video, we're going to cover just that. So stay tuned and find out. Hey everybody. Welcome to another episode of Doll Life. I'm your host, Shizu-san, and this is now episode three. So in today's episode, we're basically going to cover how to buy a Dolphy Dream. Okay, so before we get started, let me do a quick review of today's episode. First, I'm going to cover a warning message from Volks themselves on buying Dolphy Dreams. And then we're going to cover two different ways of buying them. So the first one we're going to do is buying them new. And within buying them new, we're going to cover the pre-order process and the limited availability of certain dolls. And then lastly, we're just going to touch up briefly upon buying Dolphy Dreams used as well. All right, so to tackle the first part of this episode is Volks put a warning on their website regarding buying uh, their Super Dolphys or Dolphy Dreams. So I'm going to read that for you uh, right now just so that you know. Uh, if, I'm gonna, if you see my eyes looking down, it's because I'm looking at the screen here. Um, so Volk says, regarding illegal copies of Super Dolphy, Dolphy Dream, and other related products. Recently, we have been receiving a lot of reports regarding illegal copies of our original items, Super Dolphy SD, Dolphy Dream DD, and other related products. SD, DD, and other related products are produced solely by Volks Inc. and only sold at Volks stores and official retailers. Any products sold outside of these avenues are not guaranteed official products. So that's like the first part of their warning. There is a second part down there. Let me read that for you real quick. Uh, it says, Regarding copies of Super Dolphy and Dolphy Dream, we have received many reports about stores that carry copied, recast, SD, and DD. Copied items are not only blatantly sold as recast items, but may also be sold as if they are official products. Either way, these products are illegal. So that's a general warning that they're giving uh, all their customers that to be wary when buying, I basically not from Volks or if you're buying used. And I will link it in the description below so you can read it yourself and check it out. Okay, next up, we're going to cover uh, the limited quantities of Dolphy Dreams. And what does that mean, really? Well, in the last video, uh, when I was talking about Dolphy Dreams, I mentioned that there are four different types, right? So there's anime collaborations, there's the standard models, there's the D chord line, and there's the after school Akihabara girls line. So for the standard model lines, let's do that one first. Those are pretty much available on the Volks website and the Volks USA website, so both Japan and USA, you can buy them there and pretty much they're always going to be available. Uh, I think there was a time where maybe some of them weren't available, but then they remade you know, more copies so you can keep buying them. Uh, but they're pretty much available all the time and you can get them either from the Volks Japan website or the Volks USA website. So in the Decord line, um, as far as I know, uh, you can only buy them in Japan, like from their stores. Now, I could be totally wrong about this, but I haven't seen them as sold on the Japan website or the USA website. And I did some research, and the only thing I could find was that they're only sold in their retail stores in Japan. So it's the only way you're going to be able to get them. As for their quantities, I don't know if they're always stocked. Uh, especially the new Decord one, which is a tan body. I believe as far as I've seen on the internet, uh, people have been saying that it's sold out in stores. So there's a couple scalper prices out there um, on eBay and stuff like that you need to watch out for. But that basically covers the Decord line. Uh, the After School Akihabara Girls, I don't even think they have those anymore. I think they made them. Uh, a few years back, and I haven't seen any new releases of those girls. Uh, no new characters, and the ones that already exist, I don't think that they are even available new anymore, so you probably can only find them uh, secondhand. And uh, lastly, uh, let me talk about the anime collaboration line. So, like I said before, the anime collaboration line is uh, the line that I'm most familiar with and the one that I'm really passionate about. Now, these dolls are made, for the most part, they're made one time. And they make a limited amount of quantities. 
and once they're sold out, they're sold out. You can't get them anymore. Uh, the only way you can get them is used from somebody else, or you can get them from basically a scalper. You know, somebody that bought them just to resell it with a hiked up price. Uh, but that's it, really. Uh, the only exceptions to this rule is if Volks releases other versions of the same character. So what does that mean, really? Uh, well, a good example to give you that is probably the most popular example is Saber from Fate Stay Night. And I'll link a picture up here of what she looks like. And she came out with a version 1 which was a few years back and it was her original I guess you could say blue dress armored outfit and then they came out with other versions so there was a saber altar which she had a black dress um, and she had a paler skin I think it was semi white I could be wrong on that but um, then they came out with another saber uh, a version 3 which is extra uh, and that's Saber with the uh, red dress, and uh, I, I think it's a crooked looking sword, if I'm not mistaken. And then they came out with the most popular one that everyone seems to really love, which was the Saber Lily, which Saber's wearing a really fantastic looking white dress. Uh, it's really beautiful. And um, that one, as far as I know, is probably one of the most expensive Dolphys to find because she was released a while back. So they're not making her anymore. The only way you can find her is used or from scalpers. Um, I think I scoured eBay one time and I saw her on eBay, supposedly brand new for like $4,000, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. I don't know anyone that would spend that much, but if somebody would, hey, more power to you. I don't have that kind of cash. As for other characters that come in different versions, the only one I can think of off the top of my head was both Rins. Uh, Rin from Fate Stay Night and Rin from Idolmaster Cinderella Girls. Uh, they're the only ones that I know of. Oh wait, no, and Rei. They all start with R's. Rei Ayanami from Neon Genesis. Uh, I believe she has two versions, if not three. But I think... I think, no, three. Because I think the first one was a swimsuit, the second one was a uh, school outfit, and then the third one was like a maid outfit, I think it was. Um, and those are the only ones that I can think of right now that come in different versions. But usually, for the most part, the anime-based dolls are one-shots uh, or one-ofs. So once they're sold out from Volks themselves, then you can no longer get it from Volks. Okay, I want to cover like buying Dolphy Dreams new from Volks. Okay, so I just want to be specific there. I'm going to talk about buying them directly from Volks. So you can get them at uh, Volks Japan website and the Volks USA website. I'll link both of them in the description below. Uh, and generally, um, when buying Dolphy Dreams, they come in two different ways um, for the anime collaboration line, which is a lottery pre-order or what I like to call a time frame pre-order. Uh, so let's talk about the two different ones. Um, so for the lottery pre-order, basically what it is, is you sign up, you make an account, and they'll tell you that you know the lottery will open from, let's say, December 1st to December 15th. And you submit a lottery ticket to Volks, and then after they have closed the lottery acceptances, they will pick randomly names from the applicants and then you win. And that basically just gives you the ability to pay and buy the doll. It doesn't mean you win them for free. You just win the ability to buy the doll. And if you don't win, you don't get the doll. Um, <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Um, and then a second way that they do pre-orders is what I like to call like the time-based ones. So Cheryl over there, um, she was a time-based pre-order. And what that means is they'll say something along the lines, uh, specifically for Cheryl, I think she was, uh, they opened up November 22nd of 2014. And then they closed the pre-orders, I believe, uh, December 22nd, I think. Uh, 
And basically, if you go on their website and you pre-order them, then you are guaranteed to get one any time within that open time frame. If you order it the last day, you're guaranteed you're going to get one. The only catch is, uh, and I don't think they mention it on their website. They may, they may not, but depending on when you pre-order is when you're going to get your doll. So if you pre-ordered the very, let's say the very first week that the uh, pre-order was opened, you're going to be in the first shipment. And then the second week, third week, fourth week, let's say they, I don't know how they cut it off, but let's just say for the sake of argument, they do it that way. Then you would be in the second shipment, the third shipment, and the fourth shipment, which I guess doesn't sound too bad because you're still guaranteed to get your doll. But if you're kind of anxious, you're going to be waiting a long time because the time-based pre-orders, uh, they don't come in until a year later. I didn't clarify that about the lottery ones. So if you buy, if you win the lottery and you buy the doll, it's usually you get the doll within like a month or two, roughly. But if you do the time-based one, because people can get it, you know, they have all this time and they're guaranteed one, you have to wait an entire year. So I had to wait a whole year before Cheryl came in the mail from December to fall, uh, roughly a year. And um, I was lucky enough where I pre-ordered her the first week, so I got her the first week it was released from shipments. I was in the first shipment. But it doesn't necessarily mean if you're in the second shipment that she'll come the second week. It's kind of staggered in a really weird way. So if you're in the second shipment, you might be two to three weeks later, maybe a month later. Third shipment, maybe a little bit more than a month later, you'll get yours. So it's a little bit longer of a wait, but at least you're guaranteed that you're going to get your doll as long as you pre-order within that time frame. Another thing I want to talk about is uh, if you want to buy them new, there are other places that you can get them. Uh, Amazon, I know if you check Amazon, you can buy them new, or at least they claim that they're new. I've never bought from Amazon, so I can't really say, and I don't know anyone else that has bought from Amazon. But if you do buy there, the prices are raised by a lot. So to give you an example, um, let's use Cheryl again. Uh, I paid, I think it was like $685 for her. If you look her up on Amazon, I think last time I saw her, she was probably somewhere around maybe $8.99 US dollars to, I think I seen her as high as $1,250 US. Those prices will fluctuate based upon the popularity of the character, uh, but it's generally going to be a lot more expensive if you get it from Amazon. Uh, likewise, you can also get them from eBay if you missed it like my Momo that I showed in prior episodes, she was released back in, I believe, 2012. But I didn't buy her until around 2014, 2015, I think. So I actually purchased her off of eBay. And at that point, I was really scared to buy her because you never know what you're gonna get, right? Like sometimes people scam you, sometimes people won't. You just don't know. And back then when I ordered her, uh, I don't think Volks had that warning or disclaimer on their website and from talking to other doll owners at the time on forums It seems like there was no such thing as recasts or copies of Dolphy Dreams uh, I don't know why maybe it was because of the soft vinyl But I know that there are other lines like the Dolphy and the Super Dolphy There was like uh, a lot of recasts and a lot of copycats and fakes out there and that you had to watch out for but uh, more recently, I guess people have been delving into the soft vinyl and making recasts of Dolphy Dreams. So you have to be careful when purchasing them. Another place that you can buy Dolphy Dreams new is Yahoo Japan. Um, but I, I haven't purchased from Yahoo Japan, so I don't really know too much about that. But I have seen them going brand new on Yahoo Japan. Uh, and that brings me to the next topic, right, of buying them used. So if you want to buy Dolphy Dream used, and if that's the only option available to you, like if, if you can't buy it new, you can't find it anywhere else new, then you got to go used. Um, and same places apply. I've seen used ones in Amazon. I've seen used ones on eBay. And I've seen used ones on Yahoo Japan. Again, take your chances. Uh, the only difference uh, is Yahoo Japan if you live outside of Japan, you can't just straight up order from them. You're going to have to use a proxy service. Uh, basically what that is, is it's a company and you send them the link to the website and the page of the doll that you want to buy. You pay them money 
and then they'll charge you a service fee and a conversion fee from your for your uh for your currency and then they will bid for the doll for you and if they win the doll it'll ship to their place somewhere in Japan and then they will charge you again for shipping to ship it from them to you wherever you live so that's a proxy service there's all different kinds of ones uh, I haven't used one yet but I know a friend of mine he uses Tenso um, there's also a shopping mall in Japan but you're gonna have to do a little bit of research on finding different proxy services. I haven't used them, so I can't give you my own personal opinion on how well they are or how trustworthy, but they are available to you if you wanna buy them that way. Uh, another place to buy them used, a good place to look, would be doll forms. You can go to Den of Angels or Dolphy Dreams, uh, dot com or dolphydreamsindex.com I'll link them both in the description below but you can go there and um, you know some doll owners are willing to sell their dolls and you can probably buy them off there uh, and everybody reviews everybody so there's a whole critique and review section of who they bought for who's trustworthy or whatnot but for the most part everybody's pretty good about it another place that you can look into is a place called Mandarake uh, I'll just write it up here. Uh, it's called Mandarake. Uh, it's a little tricky to use the website because sometimes the keywords that you type in search might not come up, but just try typing in Dolphy Dreams, Dolphy Volks, um, DD, things like that. And it'll show you a whole list of things that are available. And the good thing about Mandarake is they have stores all over Japan where you can buy these new or used things. But if you go to their website, online you can pay them paypal and they'll ship it to you so you don't have to use a proxy service that's the one good thing about mandarake and uh, i have a friend that orders from them all the time and she's never had a problem ordering from them um, no damages no wrong objects no falsely claimed objects or anything of that nature so um at least from that perspective i can let you know that um, mandarake is a pretty good place to look into another good place to check out uh, for used dolls would be Facebook. There's a lot of different Facebook groups out there. I think uh, one's called the Dolphy Dreams Adoptions or something like that. Um, but there's quite a few groups and sometimes they're based off region, like uh, d depending on where in the world you are, they might have a specific one for your country. But just check it out on Facebook. There's a lot of different people there. They're really nice and um, they post all the time of things that they're selling. And sometimes they do layaways so if you don't have all the money up front, uh, they might be willing to do layaways with you. You just gotta talk to the seller and see what they're willing to do. All right, well, that wraps up today's episode on how to buy a Dolphy Dream. I hope this was informative enough for you and you've learned some things so that when you go to purchase your Dolphy Dream, you know exactly what you need to do. If you don't, and there were some things that I missed, please comment down below, let me know. Maybe I can address it in another video, or I'll just answer your questions in the comment section. So thank you all for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. I'll link it also down in the description below. And I'll put the little subscribe button right up here so you can subscribe to me and get notified whenever all my new videos come out. So this is the end of episode three of Doll Life. This is Shizu-san and Cheryl signing off.